Wow, there is a lot of stars out tonight. Look at that. That's crazy. There's like a blue and green almost tint to them. Look at that. I think that is that star system. Is that constellation Perun? Is that uh, the S2R system over there, or is that the M2R system? Oh wait, never mind. It's the Olight system. That's that's where it is. That's the Olight constellation over there. Yeah, you can tell because uh, there's there's aliens. Nanu, nanu. You know, present. There we go. On planet Olight. <laughs> uh, I need I need to go to bed. What's up guys, Prepared Guy here once again. I wanted to set the record straight today because there's a lot of information going on out there. There's a lot of assumptions and a lot of guesswork that goes on. And there's a lot of different programs that are going on out there um, where channels get free products. I'm not one of those channels, unfortunately. So when I get a comment on YouTube that says, Olight spread over YouTubers, these products, this is just another ad. Oh my God, that is the worst English I've seen no structure sentence does no compute. So, and unfortunately guys, um, when I get comments like that, it's, it's just a, not a very good morale booster, especially when I know that it costs me a shit ton of money to buy all these freaking flashlights every month. I am not a part of the influencers program for YouTube or Olight or whatever. I just, that's not what I do. In fact, I did try to get on board with that. I'll explain why in a little bit, but let me kind of just address what this channel is all about. I have what they call the trust factor. Um, the viewer trust factor is a huge thing. That's just as good as getting a product for free in an influencers program. Um, essentially, here's the here's the fine lines and definitions of what I'm going to go into right now. Okay, there's an influencer program for Olight that you can get involved into. That's great. They give you a free product. They give you discount codes for your viewers. They give you some kickback um, if you use a specific link in your in your um, description down below. Um, so you get a lot of perks out of that and you get all these extra special bonus things like friendship lights and stuff like that so you get all these kind of cool things from Olight and um, unfortunately I'm not a part of that I tried getting on board back in June um, and they told me that the influence program was full unfortunately but I do have the viewer trust factor and here's how that actually helps me I'll tell you in a second when you are part of the influencer program um, you get the lights ahead of time. When you get those lights ahead of time, you're able to create the video ahead of time and you release that early and then everybody else that's gonna be on YouTube getting the products aren't gonna have a video before you, you're gonna have it first. What does that do? Well, that makes the viewers go to your channel and see your video before they look for anything else because they wanna buy it on the flash sale. When you get the, the product before the flash sale even happens, now you've made a video of, uh, about it and now people are going, well, I'm interested in that light. Let me go check out this video. Uh, before I buy and that's what happens and that's why it's a positive thing to become an influencer uh, Because you get all the perks you get all the kickback and you get those views those views translate to money a lot of money for some people You I mean you can make you know with a million views you can make up to depending on how your Monetization is set up and how your ad structures are on your channel and how many ads you have of course So when you see somebody getting getting a million views, they're making at least you know, twenty five hundred to three thousand dollars for those million views every single time. Um, unfortunately, I only have less than three thousand subscribers, and there's some influencers on YouTube um, like this guy. Love his channel. Not, I'm just using him as example. Not, I'm not hating or anything like that. This guy is an influencer for Olight. He gets stuff sent to him for free. He's part of the influencer program. He gets all the perks. So he gets those lights ahead of time. And when he makes a video, he makes some money from YouTube and he also gets the free product. So it's just a great all around situation for him. He has a million subscribers, okay? I have 3000 subscribers. Here is where the viewer trust factor works in my benefit. This is where the unbiased works in my benefit. He had a video last week or a couple weeks ago now um, on the Olight Warrior Mini. He has less than 30,000 views. He has a million subscribers, okay? I have just under 30,000 views for the same video. We're like neck and neck. I actually have a few thousand views more than his channel does. So 
that is where the trust factor and being an unbiased reviewer comes into play. And that's where it's beneficial to somebody like me. So now I've made more money off of the same video that this guy has, but he has a million subscribers and he's part of the influencer program. So I want you guys to like kind of think about that. Like that's that's how important it is to be an unbiased channel. That's what I've been trying to base my channel upon is unbiased gear reviews and giving you guys the honest opinion out of stuff I purchase. So yeah, it would be awesome for me to get into the influencer program because one, I am a multimedia production specialist, so I make all kinds of cool videos and I work for different companies and, and just different stuff. Like I do everything from documentaries to like uh, food service uh, advertisement videos and all kinds of like all kinds of stuff I get into. So it's like all these th different things I do. And uh, essentially, when somebody gets something for free like that, it just reduces the cost of overhead. So when you see an influencer, he's getting free product, he has no overhead, and essentially all he has to do is just make a video, and that's the time and effort he has to put into it. Me, I actually have to buy the product, make the video, and do all this stuff, and it's just a pain in the ass, you know what I mean? And then I have to like make videos like this to convince you that you're getting an unbiased review from somebody who just, it just, right now, this just conversation, I've done like 10 takes on this video so far. In the studio, right now, uh, that would've been like $150, $200 for somebody, you know, um, if they were coming to my studio to do recordings or anything like that. This is just my little home office, the rest of my studio is somewhere else, so I'm just, just getting you guys, you know, some perspective here. So. When people say, oh, well, you just want a free product. Let me just give you some more perspective on that. If Olight sent me one of their most expensive lights, which I think was it X9R Marauder. If they sent me that light, I would still lose money reviewing it. If they sent me a $600 flashlight and I did a complete and total review, my cost of studio time, my time just in general, it, I would actually lose money doing a review on that product. So when somebody says, oh, well, you just want to get a free flashlight, what did they get? What's Olay gonna send me? $150 flashlight. How much is it gonna cost me to review it? $600, okay? So already I'm losing, you know, $450 off of reviewing the product. So let's 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 use our brains and realize that it cost me way more time and money than it's even worth. So that's why I've been considering not doing this channel anymore uh, because I haven't been able to get into influencer programs because the overhead's way too expensive and it's just it's just not a feasible um, situation for me to keep continue doing. And um, when you get comments like that, it brings down morale big time. It's like, well, you know, like everybody thinks I'm full of shit or if I'm, I'm a phony anyway or if I'm, I'm a shill for Olight. And I'm not. I'm not, guys. I get Olight products because I like the product. Not because I am getting paid by them. Not because I'm getting free products for them. Um, I do it because I love what I do. I love having a hobby. It's fun. Unfortunately, there's a lot of flashlight reviewers out there and they don't do what I do. And then there's, I see people like doing half of what I do or a quarter of what I do. And they're like, look at me, look at me. And they get a million views. And it's like, all right, that's cool. But I've been doing it for like years and I've been promoting myself in all the right places. But there's YouTube and they have their algorithms. They have their bias as well. Essentially what they're going to do is um, they're going to put uh, people, you know, getting into car accidents before my video they're going to put and it's going to be what's trending you know what i mean makeup tutorials and uh girls doing backflips off trampolines and then falling through fences or some shit like that you know what i mean like it's just stupid stuff and that's what they want they want they want to promote stupid stuff so that their ads can make money that's really what it comes down to um so when it comes to preparedness community there's not going to be a lot of you know views coming my way um, that are going to make it worth it to me. So you got to do what you do because you love it and not because you're going to make money off of it. And that's why I'm here. I do what I do because I love what I do, not because I'm making money off of it. And uh, like I said, you know, if I was, if I had a million views um, a month, which I, I don't even think my whole entire channel has less than like 200,000 views, I think. Um, so, you know, even if you mathematically, I mean, the channel is it, not making enough money. I mean, I've literally put out probably probably fifty sixty thousand dollars into products and time into this channel minimum and that's like a kickback of like maybe five or six hundred bucks from youtube
there's there's no comparison to it. So I mean, like, so when I get stupid comments like, "Oh, you're an Olight show," <laughs> he does look like a f-ing jackass. So don't come at my channel with that stuff, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope this video has been helpful. I hope it gives you some perspective on what's going on um, in the reality of YouTube. And uh, you know, thank you for sticking with the channel. If you if you've been here, I know a lot of you've been here since like the first season, so to speak. And uh, you know, I just think you know it's a great community to have. I, I get a lot of positive comments more than I get negative ones. Um, follow me, guys, on YouTube, of course. Instagram, I got some pictures and I put some silly videos up once in a while. And then um, Facebook, I put pictures and videos and kind of keep you guys updated on there a little bit more sometimes so than uh, YouTube. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and possibly subscribe because, you know, that would be great. But um, if you don't, at least click on a bunch of videos and, uh, you know, watch some stuff. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, guys, stay prepared.